What's up guys, welcome back to Dubes Booze Reviews. This week we're taking a look at Fletcha Azul's Ultra Premium Tequila. Fletcher Azul was co-founded by Aaron Marquez and Abraham Anser. Abraham Anser is a pro golfer. And then they got Mark Wahlberg to be on the board as well. They created this ultra premium tequila. This is their Blanco tequila. One thing I think is really interesting about the Blanco is that they age it in stainless steel vats for two months. So instead of aging it and then charcoal filtering it or something like that, they just age it in stainless steel so it gains no color, but it rests for a little while which is gonna keep the crisp freshness, but I think bring some of the burn down. So that's gonna be really interesting. Let's give it a try. Wow, I get straight Paloma flavors right on the nose. You get just a lot of like lime and grapefruit. It's very fruity. It doesn't have a whole lot of pineapple. You still notice the pineapple, but it's a less pineapple, more grapefruit, almost cherry as well. Mm, you do get a little touch of vanilla though, which is nice. Definitely very fruity, very citrusy on the nose. lot of flavor to it very grapefruit cranberry cherry a lot of those flavors in there a little bit of lime in there too which keeps it really light bodied but yeah it definitely has a lot of flavor to it so i can see what they mean by an ultra premium tequila because it definitely has a lot of flavor little touch of cinnamon definitely a little touch of that clay oven taste on the kind of earthy side of things i'm not getting really any sort of like desserty caramely vanilla type of flavors you get maybe a touch of vanilla but that's pretty much as far as it goes it's very light bodied which i would kind of expect given the that it's a Blanco tequila. For a Blanco tequila, you could definitely sip this neat or on the rocks. If you just wanted to enhance the flavors that are already there, I would go with a Paloma. I think that would work great. I would not use a grapefruit soda though. I would use fresh grapefruit juice and soda water. I think that would do better just because those fresh flavors would go along with the fresh flavors in here. Another one, if you wanted to keep the flavor of this tequila there, I would go ranch water. I would keep it very simple just because you want these flavors to come out. There's a lot of really nice citrus flavors in there and those would come alive with a ranch water. A good price point. I think if you can get this bottle for under 50 bucks, I think you're looking at a really good deal. I think I've seen it as low as like mid to high 30s even. So I think if you can get it for that price, it's a really good deal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.